In this video, I'm going to cover how you can use the eraser tool. It's pretty easy to use when you've got your artboard open. You simply click on the image. There's a little eraser button that pops up right here. When I click on it, I now have a little circle. When I drag it along, I can make some changes to the document by erasing pieces of it. In this video, I'm gonna walk through some tips and tricks on how you can use the eraser tool, when you can use it, when you can't use it, and I've got a really cool little workaround for when you can't use it. Let's jump in. All right, if you've never heard of Kittle before, today's your lucky day. They've got a ton of different templates. They've got a ton of different graphics, fonts, lots of different text designs. And what I really love are the templates. When you click on a template, it pops open and you can move things around. You can replace it with different graphics. You can change the text. And within seconds, you can make great looking t-shirt graphics or fine art print graphics. It's awesome for print on demand. I'm gonna put a link to Kittle in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you click on it and you wind up purchasing the Kittle subscription, I would receive a small commission. Let's jump in and start talking here about the eraser tool. Okay, it's important to note that the eraser tool right now works on JPEG files and PNG files only. So what that means is when you click on an image, you're gonna see a little eraser button pop up here. When I click on it, I have a little circle and you can increase or decrease the size of this over on the right hand side. There's a size bar here. So when I have it nice and big, I can then make my changes. If you don't like the changes you make, just click Control Z or Control Z. That's the undo button and you'll be back to basics. Okay, so just as importantly is when you can't use the eraser tool. So this here is a vector and I can tell it's a vector because when I click on it, I can change the illustration colors right here on the right hand side. I can't do this with a JPEG or a PNG file. So here you can see the heart is now changing colors as I move things around inside the vector. Very easy to do, but the eraser tool won't work. That's okay though, I've got a workaround I'm gonna show you a little bit later on in this video. Let's go through some more tips and tricks here on the eraser tool. All right, so one thing you can do is remove backgrounds using the artificial intelligence inside of Kittle. So here I've got a photograph set up. When I click on it, over on the right hand side, you'll see AI background remover. When I click it, it's gonna think for a second and it's going to remove the background on this image. And you can see it's done a really, really good job of removing the background and keeping the human relatively intact. However, you can see here down at the bottom, there is a tiny bit that is still left over. So what I'm gonna do is use the eraser tool to remove this piece. I'm gonna click on the eraser button. You can see it's a pretty big picture. As I zoom in, the eraser tool stays pretty much the same size. So it's interesting, if you really wanna get in there, just simply zoom in as much as you can and then you can get in here now, move the eraser tool along. See how accurate I can make it now? Now, you, the more time you spend on a design, the more accurate you can make it. Because this is such a tiny little piece, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this. I'm gonna increase the size a tiny bit, and now I'm just gonna make sure that I completely remove it. I wanted to share a quick little tip. If you're erasing a large amount of real estate, like what I'm doing here, you may get a bit nervous that if you accidentally cross over into, say, the skin like that, uh-oh. Well, now if I click Control Z, it's gonna undo everything. So what you may wanna do is, as you move along here and you're erasing, let up off the mouse. So I'm gonna do a little run and then I'll let it up. I'll drag and let it up. And what that's doing is that's making a completed path and it's removing it. So especially if you're moving along the skin, don't hold down the mouse key and have a five minute erase go horribly wrong because you accidentally butted up against a piece of skin, for example. I'm quite happy with the way that looks. Another thing you can do when you wanna make sure that you've removed everything is go into the layers panel, which is down on the bottom right, and you see the background. I'm gonna change the color of it. You can see here I kind of missed a piece right there. So I'm going to make sure that my eraser tool is selected. So I'm gonna pick the eraser tool. I'm gonna to zoom in and I'm gonna make sure that that little black piece right there is now gone. I'm actually gonna remove that piece as well. All right, so overall I'm very happy with the way that looks. Sometimes changing the background color can really help you make sure that you've got every little piece removed. Does the eraser tool work on text? The answer right now is no. Because this is considered a vector, I can change the color of it, but I can't just use the eraser. However, Let's do the workaround. I'd like to show you how this works. So let's pretend that I wanted to remove a piece of this text. So for example, I wanna remove the little dot, just the dot in the eye. So what you can do is go into the layers panel. I'm 
going to click on the artboard expand it out. I'm going to remove the background. And in this case now, I'm going to export this. So I'm going to click the download button. I'm going to export it as a PNG. And a PNG is a graphic with a transparent background. I'm going to optimize the quality. I'm going to click remove background. And now I'm going to click download. Okay, so I've saved this now as a PNG file. Now I'm going to go to my uploads folder, which is on the left hand side. I'm going to click upload PNG and I'm going to select my PNG file, which is my text. It now uploads right here. And when I click on it, we can see it's now imported into Kittle. I can remove this actual vector. I can expand this out to be the same size as the original artboard. And now that it's not a vector, it's an actual image, you'll notice when I click on it, the eraser tool does pop up. So now I can go in and I can remove just the piece that I want. I can then go into elements. I can look for a heart, click on it, and I could put that right above the word headline. I'm even gonna change the color so it matches exactly. So I'm gonna click on this eyedropper tool, and now I can make it match exactly. So there is a workaround. That looks pretty good if you were making a t-shirt. You can change font simply by exporting it as a PNG file and then using it as a picture. So here's a quick example of how you can make a funny t-shirt design. Here I've got my cat illustration and then I've, underneath it I've got a vector of an astronaut. So the astronaut vector is going to be the base of my t-shirt design. I've got it centered and then the illustration here is sitting down below. I'm just going to lock it and I'm actually going to remove the visibility on it. Now I'm going to work on kitty cat. So I'm going to make him nice and big. I'm going to click on the eraser tool. And really what I'm going to do here now is just remove anything that is the body of the cat. So I'm going to go just like that with the small eraser. And then I'm going to make the eraser size larger. Quickly erase everything underneath. And then I'm going to scroll in so I can remove some of the paint splatters here. So you can make this as accurate as you want. You can really, really zoom in and then you could run the eraser tool along the cat, for example. It all comes down to how much time you want to spend on any individual design. I like to do a thin eraser first, and then I'll make it progressively thicker the farther away I get, because I don't want to accidentally nick off a piece of the main body of the art. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the way that looks, and now I'm going to turn back on my astronaut picture, and now my cat I'm simply just going to make them nice and small, rotate them a little bit, and put them right inside the image. So just like that, we've now got a cat in space. You can really make some cool artistic effects using the eraser tool. Here I've clicked on the image of my model. I'm going to click on the eraser tool, and I'm going to set this eraser size nice and small to start. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key. When you hold down the shift key, you'll notice no matter where I move my mouse, it's actually erasing in a straight line, which is pretty neat. So now I can just go right above it. Holding down the shift key, you can make very straight lines. I really hope you found this video helpful. The eraser tool is a great new addition. The gang at Kittle, they're geniuses. They're always making the templates, the artwork, and the systems in play better. And that means a great experience for those of us that are working in the print on demand field. Great job, Kittle, thanks again. If you got any questions or concerns about the eraser tool, shoot them on down in the comments below. Here's another video on how you can have some fun using Kittle.